Alrighty, y'all. So we have the moment of truth now. We are going to see if Alice is good. We have her kit, and we're going to take a look, break down everything. Um, woke up slightly earlier than when she came out, maybe like 10 minutes, so should be fine. But let's take a look and see what's going on here, right? Let's pause it. Take a look and see what's going on here. Let me just make sure my audios are all good, 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 good. My tail isn't moving when I walk, is it? Oh! Can you check it for me? Please be good. Okay, I mean, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, anytime it's something that's not, like, that's just not, it, it, if it's not, like, crazy, then it's just, it's cool. Okay. Okay, her heel seems to be going off a lot. Let's see how good she is, though, okay? Okay, she also has a pretty decent kit. I mean, pretty for big at least in my eyes. Okay, so burst one, good. Submachine water support, okay. Carrot and bunny party. Activates after 60 normal attacks, affects all allies. Recovers 7.4% of caster's final max HP as HP. Carrot party, damage to interruption parts increased by 2% that stacks up to five times and lasts for five seconds. Sure. After 90 normal attacks, affects all water code allies. Stack count of buff by one. Okay. Water cold allies. No, no, no. Don't remember. Um, no. No, no. No, no. Oh my god. That was not a good call, Nikkei. That was not a good call. This should have just been all allies, not water. Um, more carriage. Activate after full burst ends. Affects all allies. Burst gauge filling speed increased by 10 seconds. By 10% for 5 seconds. Activate when entering full burst. Affects all allies. Maximum ammo capacity increased by 40% for 15 seconds. Reload 40%. Basically what Noir has. Um, wow. Uh, that could be very helpful, actually. Burst skill. 40 second cooldown. Oh, my God. For, wait. <laughs> Effects all allies re-enter burst skill stage 1. Recovers 27% of the castle's final max HP. HP. Activates when carrot parties fully stacks. Effects all allies. HP potency increased by 150% for 15 seconds. Is this right? That... I know I'm not tripping. I'm sorry. I know I'm not tripping. That's a 20 second. But you're on a 40 second, but you have a cooldown. I know I'm not tripping. What is this? Re-enters burst sta skill stage one, but on a 40 second cooldown. So you use her burst one, then you go into another burst one, then a burst two and a burst three, but then the next rotation, you just go into that burst one. So with this character, you're forced to run a 20 second cooldown character for burst one, which is fine. I think that's always going to be fine, especially when it comes to burst one. The HP potency 150%. Nice. That's very, very good. Um, Very, very good. Max ammo capacity, entering full burst effects all allies, 15 seconds, reload percent, right? Max ammo up by 40% for 15, reload 40%. 
of ammo, I'm assuming, pretty good. The stack count by one for water cold allies was not a good call in my opinion. I generally don't understand why they would do that. Who in water cold? No, no, you're not using um, her. You're not using her with Tove. Maybe Rem, because Rem has a stacking ability, right? Does she not? Yeah, she does. The attack thing. No, though. Oh, who am I using her with? Um, I, genuinely, who, who am I using her with? The healing is cool from her. Don't get me wrong. Every sixty normal attacks with a SMG. So basically, I mean, she, but. Why? Honestly, chat, I don't even know if you... Burst skill animation is not crazy for me to summon. I mean, I'm a summon, but in just the general sense, the burst skill animation is not good enough to summon. For me personally, um, if I was like someone who was only like summoning for what I like. And the kit is like cool, but it's just not. 40 second cooldown, re-enters burst one. She has pretty good heals. Oh, her burst. Oh, her burst is heals. It's not even like per second. It just heals. 27 of Cassidy's final max HP is HP. But then your HP potency is up by 150% for 15 seconds. But it's like I wouldn't rely on this character to be my only healer, I feel like. I mean, I think I would actually. After I got the burst skill off for 15 seconds. But it's on a 40 second cooldown. I don't know. I don't think so. I like this character. I don't think I like this character much. I think the heals in general, like when we use her, I think the heals are going to be great. 150% HP potency. For the people who do not know what HP potency is, it's increased healing. So your healing is increased by 150%. 27% of Cassid's final max HP. Recover 7.4% of the Cassid's final max HP. Sure. Great. But... This was a bad call, I feel like. that That's a bad call. I feel like the water code affects all water code allies. Stack cut buff by one. That was a bad call. Because the only character I see that affecting is just Rem. Because who else has this? Like, I'm trying to think. I don't know anybody else here who has like a stacking ability. And it's like... I'm also going based on how useful they are. The Rem is like the only one I can see here being useful. Tove, I guess. But Tove doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. The stacking. Like Tove is going to be fully stacked instantly. <laughs> she doesn't need it. And it's like. No. No. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't think they did good with this one. I think they did good with Soda if you have Tove and if you have Leona. Um, I'm sure you can make it work even if you don't have Tove and Leona for Soda. But for Alice, I don't like it. 150% HP potency for 15 seconds on a 40 second cooldown. That's like her biggest feat, I want to say. Right? And the heals as well. The heals and that because the damage interruption part 2%. Okay. What do I need that for? <laughs> the bosses. Like what character, what boss do I need a damage interrupt part for? That's quite useless for me, I feel like. The burst gauge filling by 10. This is pretty cool, right? Um, right, the, both, the burst gauge filling. That's not bad. It affects all allies too, so that's not bad. When you end a full burst. It's like if I have this character on the team. I'm not using her as a burst one. Like I'm literally only taking advantage of her first and second skill. I feel like. Because for me I find her first skill to be. I mean no I guess I could still use it. But I don't want. No. 
because I would have to run a burst one and another burst one and then a burst two and then two burst threes. And it's fine. I can do that. That's not a problem at all. But it's like. What am I using her for? Because if I'm using her already as a burst one, that means my burst, the other burst one, the other burst two and the two burst threes, none of them are supposed to be healers, obviously, because that's what Alice is supposed to do. I think this right here, the HP potency for 15 seconds is great. Maybe run her with D killer wife. You run her with D killer wife. 40 seconds. You can just have this go off every time. I don't, know. I don't like it. I really don't. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think the heels are just going to be good, but that's it. You guys let me know what you think. It's your boy Zioxis. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I do think Soda is the one to go for. She just beats her in all ways. Animation, character. This, this, that. You guys let me know, but I don't think this is a character you guys need to have, to be honest. But we'll move. We'll, we'll move. We'll, we'll test her and we'll see. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. It's your boy Zioxis. I'm out. Peace.